What up guys, welcome back to the Requintazo podcast Where we're just gonna start exploring different truths Yesterday I posted on my Instagram that the blue pill equals a blissful ignorance Basically, you're not aware of things, but you're happy And that's cool And the red pill, you start becoming aware of all these things around you And honestly, the truth hurts but I'm, I'd much rather be aware of all these things that are going on around me. So, so for those people who think like me, we're going to start exploring these truths, all right? So how does one become red pill aware? The most common, the most talked about red pill online and in forums and stuff is, is the relationship red pill because that's where most men start. But I, I've come to realize that there are other red pills, not just relationship-wise, but also like financial-wise, health-wise. There's a whole bunch of red pills. You just have to become aware of all of them. So the way you become red pill, where is you just have to go through this moment where you're like, fuck. And you're like, fuck this. I'm never going to go through that pain again. You, honestly, you just have to feel it. Because I could tell you how much... I could tell you about the fire. I could tell you about how much it's going to hurt. But if you never actually feel the fire and you, you never actually get burned, like you're never going to know. You're never going to actually know what it feels like. So I've been through some painful moments in my life. And honestly, I don't regret those moments because those are the moments where I've grown the most as a person. Before I became relationship red pill aware, I became financial red pill aware because Ever since a young age, I knew that the system was wrong. And like everyone promotes this idea that we have to go to college and stuff because they're like, oh yeah, if you go to college, you can become successful. But honestly, that's the first red pill that I became aware of. Because ever since I was young, I realized that all these people giving this financial advice, yeah, they went to college, but they didn't have the life I wanted. I saw them promoting this idea like it was the only way to go and honestly like i looked at them and they didn't seem happy to me like they had a job yeah they had money yeah but a lot of these people they were living paycheck to paycheck and what i saw wasn't like freedom it was like enslavement like we are enslaved to the stuff we own we don't actually own anything and that's one of the first things I became aware of. Like, I was like, if I spent all these years in college, am I really going to have a successful life? And honestly, no. I realized that, like, yeah, I might have a job, but having that job, I'm going to have to work the rest of my life. And that was something that I didn't want. So I was like, there has to be other ways. And I started reading and reading. And one of the books I recommend you to read is a, a book called Unscripted by MJ DeMarco. Like, that book is going to blow your mind away. And basically, it says that, like, we're all enslaved to different ideas. And we all have these, like, pseudo realities. We have this perceived image of what reality is. And honestly, that ha it's nothing to do with what actual reality is. Perceived and actual are two different things people work their entire lives so they could like finally retire like they don't actually work because they like it people work so they could retire so they could have all these nice things but right now i'm 26 years old and i could say i could retire if i wanted to it is not and it's not because i have a whole bunch of money or because like I, I was successful this whole time. Like, I just started seeing success. And the way I, I did this is, like, I was able to create a system that brings in income every single month without me having to actually be there. Like, once my goal for the longest time was being able to hit 10K a month. And I thought it was going to feel, like, fucking badass to be able to do that. And when I did it, you know how I felt? The same. Nothing changed. That's because money itself is an illusion, too. Like... That's how society forces us to exchange our time for all these things. Like when you want to buy a new car or when you want to buy a house, we're not actually changing money. That's not what we're using to buy these things. What we're doing, we're exchanging parts of our lives. We're giving away time that we're never going to get back. If I want a new car, all I have to do is give away like 10, 10 years of my life working. And that was something that I didn't want to do. 
So now that I have created like this system where I'm able to break free, like, yeah, I'm living like if I'm only making, what, 20 grand a year. And that's not a lot because the thing that enslaves you is not, is not your job, is not your decisions, but the thing that enslaves you is like consuming things, consuming the wrong things. That car is gonna enslave you. That new house that you can't afford is gonna enslave you. But the best part of this is that, like, once you become aware of these things and you realize that this is just like a, a game, a script, yeah, we cannot escape it, but we could use this information to, like, play the game better. <laughs> like, I don't need a big house. I'm, I'm alone right now. I'm not even home most of the time. I'm just there to sleep and stuff. So, like, all these things, all these material things I don't need. I don't need a new car. A car basically just takes you from point A to point B this car works perfectly fine i don't need material objects to like impress other people to be like oh this guy makes all this money nah compared to other people i don't make shit so don't fall for this bs that society puts on on us like we're conditioned all these thoughts are not our thoughts they've been conditioned into us since we were born so yeah, I'm going to end this podcast here. I, I was just rambling about different stuff. I'm going to be more focused in the next podcast to come. If you want to hear more about a certain topic, comment down below. I want to hear your thoughts. It was like the first time I'm, I'm doing this. So I, I kind of felt like weird too because I've never talked about this stuff to other people. But hopefully this helps you out and helps open your mind. And please share it. I'll see you in the next podcast. Later.